The initial concept of the Carter Center came shortly after I left the White House. My first thought was that we would have a place here, kind of like a, a military or Camp David, where we could invite uh, adversarial groups in here, or either I could go to their country to negotiate back and forth between people who were either at war or likely to go to war to promote peace. And we still do that uh, throughout the world. The Carter Center is unique, and I think there are several reasons for it. One is because Jimmy was president, we have access to leaders in any of the countries we want to work in. Um, and also, um, we have the best people running our programs. That's again because he was president. We can call on experts in any area, and, um, and they'll help us. It's really wonderful. I think the best thing, though, about our programs is that the people do the work themselves. We deal with the generic term of uh, human rights. Under that umbrella, obviously, the right of people to live in peace and the right of people to have adequate uh, health care and, and to have their children survive are inseparable basic rights of a human being. Carter Center has just um, developed and grown more than we ever dreamed it would. It's been, it's been really exciting to see what's happened.